Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are in uh, orbit yet again, uh, joining our new shuttle as it is a, about to make a uh, deorbit maneuver. Hopefully, if we can get those engines nice and ulaged. All right, there we go. And we'll light up our twin Asteris 2s. Seem to be de dealing with a little bit of a weight imbalance, so maybe I messed up that weight uh, shuffle a little bit. Although I'm hoping not. This is a, a pretty small burn compared to what Delta V we have still. Around half or so. Which is fine. That leaves us plenty of uh, RCS fuel to help uh, battle the aerodynamic forces on our way back in. Which I'm hoping will be made a little bit easier by our uh, wing layout. Oh, I should double check uh, my maneuver node. Yeah, no, we are way the hell off from where I thought we were going to go because I didn't account for a rotation of the Earth. Good for me. <laughs> so we're probably going to land somewhere in Mexico. That's fine with me. It's hopefully not in that rocky part there. As long as we don't ditch in the ocean, I think we'll be all right. But uh, it's making our periapsis way out here. I think with all the gliding and stuff that we're going to do, we'll probably be lucky to put it down somewhere here in uh, Central America. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we, if we just turn a whole lot, we can come into Brownsville. I don't think that's plausible at this point, although that was my... Uh, that was where I was aiming for two orbits ago when I plotted that node. And forgot that the Earth rotates underneath me. So I'm sure everyone watching this already knows everything about that. I have just uh, had a momentary lapse of judgment for everything, really. <laughs> it's not my finest hour. Anyway, we're going to speed up through the rest of this burn and probably through a good portion of our re-entry. Uh, unless everything absolutely tragic happens. Although you can fully expect most of these RCS ports to burn off. But, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Alright, uh, I feel like that's probably good enough, and we'll, we'll uh, wait until we've hit some atmosphere before we start actually orienting ourselves uh, into our deorbit, but, um, I don't know, fingers crossed. Maybe this will be uh, a much easier uh, re-entry than what we're used to. I mean, here's hoping anyway, right? Okay, so, time warp around. I'm facing the exact wrongiest way, aren't I? Yep. Oh, let's get this spun around fast. Because we are going to be falling very quickly here. Oh, thruster imbalance. You make everything way more entertaining than it has to be. <laughs> I'll just fling right past it. Like I said, this is I'm not having my finest weekend. Alright. At least we are pointed in somewhat the correct direction. If we could just get those uh heat shielding tiles oriented down, that'd be even better. Yeah, don't try to counter the rotation or anything. SAS. You're doing a marvelous job of absolutely everything. Okay. Uh, some of this is a little intentional. Not quite that much. But uh, I would like to come in to try to redirect some of this energy to steer us northward. Okay, come on. How much northward do I need to be? Oh, lots. 
<laughs> lots and lots, otherwise it's almost assured that we're going to have to ditch somewhere here in the water, which is the exact opposite of what we need to do. So we need to get some of this steering thing going during this re-entry. I forgot, we're already like in the atmosphere and everything. Oh boy. Alright, well. Let's see uh, how much of this force we can impart here. What was that? Oh, Venus. Cresting kind of looked like an explosion on the horizon, which is would be really weird for this game, right? Yeah, are we going to be coming down at night? No, we are certainly not. Although, if that's our periapsis... <laughs> oh boy. That's like half the Pacific Ocean we're going to have to glide across. And that'll be good. And did I mention we're coming in uh, considerably heavier than what we usually are? Because I neglected to dump off a bunch of extra liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen. You know, well, I guess it's mostly liquid oxygen now. Well, no, that tank is evened out. But it is running our fuel cells and keeping some of the balance. I hope, although we'll probably vent it as we get a little uh, further in. Yeah, we're starting to show some heating now on that cabin. That is not the part I am worried about, however. So far, so good. I forgot I put those there. Those thrusters are certainly not long for this world. Let's see how well it maintains orientation. Not very well. Yep, there you go. All of the thrusters up front, as expected. What are those? I think those were struts from the uh, external fuel tank. Yep, and now we're going to lose those two per usual. Yep. There they go. Nothing unusual yet. <laughs> Although I don't feel like it's fighting me quite as hard. I just also don't think I'm actually importing any directional change. Okay, now it's fighting me. Whoa, 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 whoa there, buddy. Whoa. What are we doing? Oh, no. Come on. At least if you're going to go all spin out crazy face... The <laughs> Shit. I don't think I'm getting this one back. Come on. Yeah. This is with the just random barrel roll. All right. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, come on. Well, all right, yeah, fine. Wow. Okay, whoa. That is entirely too much. Playing around there, buddy. Wow, what is this? Oh, actual things are starting to explode now. Val, what are you doing? How did you manage this? Now you're definitely gonna have to ditch in the ocean.
Come on, Val. Get that nose in there. Get that nose down. Come on. What the hell was that? And now I can't bring up my... I can't bring up the menu to, to vent things. That's awesome. Oh, come on, Val. Bring it back. Bring it back. Hell did we lose a tail? And really, it uh, only got a much, much worse from here. After that latest explosion, it would not let me bring up the uh, menu to dump any fuel from this point onward. So, despite my best efforts to balance everything out, which was entirely fruitless, including firing up the uh, engines to burn stuff, which quickly got vapor in the fuel lines, uh, balance was not to be found. Val's only saving grace, however, was the contingency plan of the parachutes stowed neatly in the cargo bay for just this exact situation, to where I could not free the shuttle from an impending fiery collision with the Earth. But the uh, chutes were never intended to bring to a halt a completely full shuttle. It's still way overweight, and the impact of the ocean is a bit harsh. And all the while in the background, you can hear the hum of the uh, dump motors dumping nothing completely fruitlessly because the menu would not come up to allow me to toggle them in uh, any manner. So I'm convinced that the uh, utter failure of this flight was entirely because of the uh, weight balance issues, not being able to dump fuel that was needed to maintain weight for the wings to hold steady, um, and not so much my very slight altering of the control surfaces because the control surfaces ultimately uh, burned off during our absolutely horrific descent but at the end of the day our crew is okay we got most of our shuttle back so uh, I won't call this a total loss just a really really embarrassing one to say the least so uh, I think I'm going to have to spend a lot more time working on this shuttle or any shuttle how yeah, well we got 57.9% uh, of our parts, the expensive ones of which, of course, we broke, which was all of the engines. So we're only going to get about 15 grand back from this one, meaning uh, it was a lot of wasted money. Uh, yeah. Figures. Not my finest hour. But at least Val and Bill have survived and can go back up it again. Maybe she really is the Chuck Yeager of this series, Valentina. So no matter what happens, she always seems to survive. Hmm. It's food for thought. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Uh, thank you for hanging out and watching me really, really screw this one up. So uh, hopefully we'll have some uh, better flights uh, in our next episode. So until then, I will see all of you later. See ya.